What's poppin', crewmies? I'm Ian. And I'm Hunter. And we're on the prowl. Do you like to program? UCF is holding the 34th annual school programming competition. See Mr. Merlino to sign up. Registration will close after January 24th. Listen up, students. It's the time of the year to recruit new ambassadors for next year. If you like meeting people, getting out into the community, and serving as a crooms ambassador, assisting in student recruitment from our middle schools, then we need you. Students who have a pleasant personality, great with customer service, along with great marketing skills, come join our team. Applications for the ambassador program can be picked up in the lobby with Miss Hardy. Deadline is February 14th. On Tuesday, January 21st, there is a track and field informal meeting from 2.30 to 3 in room, 10, in room 1204. Parents and students are welcome to attend to learn more about this year's track and field program. You must have completed physical packet on file with Ms. Richards in attendance. Seniors, listen up. The Crooms Multi-Scholarship Application is now live for you to submit your application. Don't miss out. This one application progress will give you the opportunity to apply to seven different scholarship opportunities. How great is that? Get on now because the deadline is February 28, 2020 by midnight. The multi-scholarship application is live on Crim's website under Business Advisory Council tab. Good luck. And now for our special reports. Crewies, I'm Kalia Moore and today we plan on interviewing some students about what they plan on doing during winter break. Alright, today I'm here with Michaela Huggins and Hattie Cisse. So, what do you guys plan on doing over winter break? Sleeping. Going on a cruise. Do you guys celebrate any holidays over winter break? No. Not really. Alright, so I'm here with Kenneth Moore and Dominic Harrison. What do you guys plan on doing over winter break? Um, celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and uh, spend time with family and friends. Mm. Celebrate Christmas and enjoy the NBA. All right. Um, do you guys celebrate any holidays over the break? Uh, just Christmas. Same. All right. Thank you. I'm here with Jack Herzog. Jack, what are you going to be doing during winter break? You know, me and Dom, we're going to Jamaica, you know, having a good time. Okay, what holidays do you celebrate during winter break? Christmas. All right. I'm here with Michaela Stefan. Michaela, what do you plan on doing over winter break? Um, we are going up to Ohio to visit family. Do you celebrate any holidays over the break? Uh, Christmas and New Year's. That's nice. Thank you. All right, so I'm here with Jacob Bell. Jacob, what do you plan on doing over winter break? Nothing much, just gonna sit around, play video games, do some chores. Nothing really too interesting, but just some, something that entertains me. All right, and do you celebrate any holidays over the break? Of course, I celebrate Christmas. We all get together and we just eat dinner and then we just exchange presents and stuff like that. All right, thank you. So I'm with Sebastian Garcia. Sebastian, what do you plan on doing during winter break? Uh, staying inside, playing games, and sleeping. That's about it. Well, thank you. I'm with Sebastian Lee. Sebastian, what are you going to do over winter break? I'm visiting my dad in Atlanta. All right. And do you celebrate any holidays over the break? Christmas, obviously. I am Kalia. And this is Dom. And this has been our winter break interviews. Signing off. Hey. We're back interviewing someone else. Who are you? I'm Chase Wingard. Hello, Chase. So uh, what do you do on the prowl? Basically, I'm just one of the people that's in the background, sort of help with like the prowl, setting it up, and kind of getting it kind of done, I guess you could say. Yeah. Well, I, I for one, respect that, because if it wasn't for you, like our, our scripts and stuff wouldn't have been made. And uh, it's really important, because we wouldn't really be able to have the prowl without someone like you. So thank you for that. Um, what, what, what do you like about doing that? I mean, it's just fun. It's something different, you know? Not a lot of people get to experience like something like where you could just go in here and just sort of like help with anything, really. It's just something neat, new, something new to experience. All right. What's poppin'? We're back interviewing someone else now. What is your name, stranger? My name is Justin, and I am no stranger. 
Except you are, because I don't know your name. Anyways, uh, what do you do on the prowl, Justin? I am the teleprompter and the guy who does the recording. So I run the script for the anchors, and I actually make sure that the green screen is working and recording the actual episode so that you can see it all. Oh, that's epic. We wouldn't be able to see the prowl without you. So good on you, man. Anyways, so assistant. What do you think of this image? This is the most glorious thing I've ever seen in my life. Indeed it is. I spent seven hours in Photoshop making that. Uh, Mr. Wells actually posed for that, just in case you didn't know that. Well, anyways, uh, well, thank you for, sh for spending time with me. And uh, you're, you're going to be on the prowl and there's nothing you can do about it. But I'm already on the prowl. No, no you're not. <laughs> Bye. Hey, we're talking to Mr. Wells now. He's uh, he's kind of the guy that controls the prowl. Well, he is the guy who controls the prowl, actually. And uh, yeah, we're, we're interviewing him. He also teaches digital media and digital design. So, Mr. Wells, uh, do you enjoy doing the prowl? Yeah, I like it quite a bit. Uh, it's, um, you know, I think it's one of the fun aspects of my job, uh, getting to uh, have students be creative and uh, work on projects uh, where they can interact with each other. And it's not me. Uh, lecturing or yelling the whole time that's, that, that's respectable because i i personally for one don't like sitting in a classroom and just being lectured for the entire time sure. also uh what do you really do for the proud because like we know like you're in control but like we don't know like what you really do yeah absolutely so um i'm kind of like an executive producer uh sort of thing so um although i don't personally work on the reports um, i kind of come up with the various assignments uh the different topics and ideas and then i kind of help like facilitate the students working on them so uh, as far as like scheduling things getting information if they need like photos or videos sometimes i can hunt that stuff down uh, otherwise i tend to help them uh, edit their reports and make sure that it's just kind of the best quality uh, that they can have all right one last question actually we have two more uh so uh do you recommend anyone coming and working on the prowl or like, well, taking digital media and if and if you do why yeah, absolutely. So um, I guess, uh, yeah, I'll speak to all of you out there. So yeah, I suggest uh, signing up for digital media when the time comes. Um, it's a fun and interesting class, and I find most students really enjoy it. There's kind of two aspects of it, um, in front of the camera and behind the camera. So if you're not exactly outgoing, but a little more technical, that's awesome. We can always use uh, people like that. And I find most students really enjoy it. And then if you're in digital media, uh, you can actually sign up for digital media productions, which is like like the follow-up and that's for like the slightly more advanced students where it gets even a little more uh, in-depth and uh, that sort of thing all right assistant thank you uh, will you read this image out loud to us uh, no I'm, I'm good my voiceover voice is a little rough today but it looks pretty cool and uh, you know maybe eye level is off a little bit but uh, looks wonderful with the lighting and the compositing and all that please can you please read it are you sure? Yeah, Pretty please. All right, assistant, here you go. Can you just leave already? Like, I fired you like three interviews ago. Like, hello, Brody. Hello, Ian. How's Groundhog's Day going? <laughs> I'm not in Groundhog's Day anymore. <laughs> I got out of it by dating that one woman that I can't recall her name. All right, anyways, uh, so you're basically a newbie on the prowl because you've only been on there once because uh, we were running short of people. Anyways, Brody, uh, did you enjoy being on the prowl? Uh, I was on it for like five minutes. Um, I was super awkward like I'm being now. So, yeah, it was all right. Yeah, I mean, it, like once you get used to like recording, you know, it's great. <laughs> anyways, um, so uh, would you recommend being on the prowl to anyone else, any local crewmies? Uh, all the crew me gamers out there, uh, yeah, the Prowl's uh, super tight. It is tight. Anyways, um, oh, assistant. Why, thank you. I have to show another person this lovely image. Alright. What do you think of this lovely, lovely image? <gasps> I printed that on two. He's printing. Take me by the hand, lead me to the land. That you understand? 
Oh shit, man! The voyage to the corner of the globe is. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I need to get back to doing Everfy on my Switch. Can I have a turn? You want to you do Everfy? <laughs> Alright, come on, man. You gotta keep your mental health in shape. Man, I gotta, I gotta make sure my mental health is in uh, equilibrium.